jump into this game? Yeah, let's, let's get right into it. Yeah, dude, Sunday. Yeah, StarCraft Sunday for us. We have StarCraft Saturday too, StarCraft Sunday. Saturday isn't enough. as relaxed as Sunday for sure. Because Sunday I feel that we can just kind of, you know, just go through it. It's not that big of a thing because with uh, CSL it's sometimes uh, a little bit of remembering shout outs and sponsors that, and stuff. Is it because you also like get back from like your real job or you have to like rush to your office before the stream starts? Well as Sunday you have like nothing that prevents you from like making it on time? No, um, because the, the I have an office and a tattoo shop and you would hear if if I did it on Saturday when it's open you would hear ree and on Sundays it's closed so I just you know I can come in and the noises aren't happening and the internet is now super rad in the shop so I'm uh I'm having fun with it, but I can't the I can't drown out that noise for the life of me. Yeah, definitely. All right, so let's introduce our players. Spawning in the bottom left-hand position, uh, representing Bungie, we have Void. And spawning on the top right-hand position, the Red Zerg. It is Breezy for Team Electronic Arts. And look at his icon. It's like a man with things in his nose. With oh, those look like the um, hydrogen. Or not hydrogen, oxygen bars. So there was like this fad in bars, like drinking bars, mm -hmm. where you have an oxygen bar where people like put on these oxygen masks, kind of like what Max Sucks has right now. And they just give you oxygen and your tolerance goes up somehow. So I, maybe that, that's what it looks like to me that it is. I remember seeing that on like Inside Edition or Hard Copy, like if something celebrities were doing, they're like, oh, I love going to an oxygen bar. I love breathing fresh air. Yeah, because they get fresh air basically. So maybe that's what that is. That looks like what that is. We're seeing similar openings from both players, but we are seeing Breezy go for his natural expansion and at least check around. Is it going? There it goes. There it goes. Yeah, and now Void goes for his um, expansion as well. Basically identical openings. Will we see the gas come out from Void? Gas for gas for Void, yeah. So pull first, hatchery, then gas. So we're gonna be about even on the timing of speed. So we'll have to wait until see, we see if they go both go alien nest or roaches to actually theory craft upon this. Um. So. But usually with the Overlord, you want to go straight for the natural expansion to see things that are running out from that particular area that, you know, would be the ramp. But I do like how Breezy has went and took his Overlord to see the pool, to see the timing of it, so that he can just basically know if there would, like, if was it pool first, should I worry about aggression, or was it a hatchery first? So he should know right now that it was a pool first. Yeah, certainly. Um, Breezy getting both of his, one of his queens out. Meanwhile, Boyd has to wait a little bit for his queen to kill him out because that overlord's taking a little bit of time. He does have a very good overlord place over here at the natural for Breezy. Void can see when that's going to be up, actually. And it will be able to tuck away or at least get away from this queen fast enough if it can. Oh, but the queen is moving over and an aggressive. But yeah, and going to get right underneath it. Oh, I hate it when this happens where you don't notice and it shoots right as it's under you. Oh, and it's going to push it into the base, so yeah, he's definitely going to be able to kill us. Meanwhile, Vorling's on the way towards Void's base. Void is making a spine crawler, so he's going to be safe with that queen and spine crawler. I think the Overlord's going to make it, man. Oh, how did he... This is impossible. Oh, there we go. No. Almost. Meanwhile, Void has to cancel something. I don't know what he's making, maybe Overlord? And two lanes coming out, so with the queen of the two lanes and the spine crawler, he's going to be fine. This is just to get um, some info. One drone is picked off, the second drone does get picked off too, so worth it for Breezy. Pretty decent micro for for Breezy. Moving some lings around in order for some not to, the weak ones not to die. Yeah, it's really cool to see. Bailing list out now for Breezy, and um, Void is not cutting his speed just yet, so I think Breezy's just gonna do it, man. Ling bailing aggression. Get his speed up, get like 20 links, move up the ramp with two bailings, kill everything. It's always really good, and he is taking the map with all those links. How many more are in production? Oh, he's supply blocked right now, isn't he? No, he's not. Meanwhile, Void with the Roach Warren, so. I guess we saw the deviation. Um, roaches versus banelings. 
They take a bunch of hits, right? Like four bailing hits for a roach to die? I think so. I mean, while Breezy does a little ring around the Rosie with his speedlings, and he's gonna come in again and fight these lings. Just, just checking out info, not really trying to get much kills. No, and he's gonna just run around. Definitely saw the Roach Horn, so knows what he's up against, but won't really have to worry about it. I mean, when it comes down to Ling versus Roach, it's all a matter of what will the Roach pair be able, be able to macro a lot of Roaches out, because Lings don't cost that much, and they also cut two per larva. So if you have enough, you could just be able to just keep sending them and stop whatever roaches are coming across. And yes, yeah, certainly. And just like you said, there's 16 links in production right now. Breezy is getting his third behind this. He knows he has speed, and his opponent does not. So he's gonna try to like abuse that fact. And speed isn't even up, even being researched yet. I mean, he's going for roaches, but man, I even think that I think not getting speed is sort of a bad idea. <laughs> you, you're just you just haven't played around with not getting speed just yet. Maybe one day I will, and I'll see, see how I get whatever it is a little bit faster, but I don't necessarily think it's that much faster. And all these things coming into Void Space, and they're just going to go straight to the natural. Probably focus down the Queen and then the Spine. And Void getting four roaches trying to defend his base. Yep. Just... This isn't necessarily, again, you need that speed early. You need to be able to read your opponent. If you see a lot of lings, if you see more than four, if you see, like, if you see eight lings in general, like, however scouting purposes that you're doing, you yeah. should just know I need to make lings immediately because they're going to be in my base in a second. One roach does get trapped. More roaches coming out. Um, Bailing's detonating on some of these roaches. Here they come into the mineral line. Oh! Almost getting the, what's it? <laughs> the heroes. Fine, man. That yeah. could have gone way worse. 12 drones lost so far. I think Void must move out right now, right? He'll just go for it. I mean, he's going to have to, or at least leave enough to block his ramp to not get Ling run by But we have a third coming down from Breezy. That aggression led to him being able to take that. But he had map he had map control anyway with all those Lings. And Roach is just kind of chilling. I, I think he's going to he's gonna try to take his third. I'm not sure what exactly he's thinking. He is falling behind in worker count as well as... Uh, just supply. I mean, it's only seven right now, but I mean, it's definitely enough because we do have the production tab of uh, Breezy just lighting up with upgrades. Yeah, we have 12 roaches against six links, one roach, and three banelings. So if he moves out now, he has a very good um, time to do some damage. Meanwhile, Void finally recovers his um, cool, puts all his drones where he, they're supposed to go. He's going straight for the third man. I think he's gonna. Uh, he's gonna probably gonna be able to get it because there's not enough lings to really run over there just yet to to like slow it down. And this, yeah, yeah this third is just dumb. Maybe um, Breezy is no. He's just maybe he was moving in. He was setting up on his ramp. Maybe he's gonna try to do it. Abuse those um broodlings. Just yeah, one roach does go down. The broodlings are attacking the roaches, and now Breezy can actually try to engage this. The queen is gonna go down. One bailing hit. And I think the numbers game for roaches will... They're even? No, Breezy finally has more roaches. So yeah. Void bought himself some time, though. Nah, quite a bit. I mean, he didn't take his third on this, and I think he could have got out with those. I mean, all he needed to do was snipe that expansion and just start getting out of there. And then as they, they start running forward, they could stutter step to get rid of the wings. And now we have 19 roaches for Breezy, and... None just yet. Three in production for eight in production. So if Breezy moves out, now he'll have the Roach advantage and he'll be able to take the base, maybe even the, the game. Yeah, moving down. I mean, in this natural expansion, oh, maybe the natural. Well, I think Druins just got. Or no, he didn't take his gases yet. That's what I was saying. But he didn't really necessarily need it. But now Breezy going up the ramp, going into the natural expansion, going to have a lot of fun. Not many Roaches there to stop anything. There is that hero spine that has. Four kills, we'll see. Oh, but dancing around, giving uh, Void some time. Yeah, he does have a larger number and a good concave. I guess maybe he was going to go to the nat the main natural. Uh, he's undecided, parking in between the ramp, and now he's going to the back. And a lot of drones are going to go out. He does split his roaches quite well, so now Void has to deal with two threats. Maybe even three, one of them hitting his Evo chamber. Yeah, I mean, this, this is this is definitely GG for Void, unfortunately. He won't be able to stop this onslaught of roaches. And then macro out of it. I mean, so many workers killed right now. 47 workers killed. Yeah, that's true. There we go, man. And the GG. Um, so we do have 
Electronic Arts taking this series 3-0. Do we have a game four at all? We do have a game four. Sweet. I like watching games. It'll it'll be a PvP on overgrowth. Yes. But congratulations, Electronic Arts, for taking this um, after hours gaming league Sunday showdown between Bungie. Yeah, definitely. But for Some the, good but, games. But for the lols, we need to go for the fourth one. Yeah, we're gonna watch this one for sportsmanship.